Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am your host Chris Walker and uh, this is my YouTube channel. So today here, I'm going to make a little bit of a little small video. You see, if you guys didn't know, I've been playing Resident Evil 4 for the past 12 years. Playing it, perfecting it, becoming a master of the game. So, one day I had this bright idea to do a little bit of video. To do a more like a guide, a boss guide, if you will. So, this video, the main goal is to help you, the viewer, who is not good at the game or basically, you know, find the game to be difficult, to find the bosses to be difficult, to help you out, to get through step by step, get through the bosses, and, you know, in a very better way. And this is going to be like an a, like a every man's guide, or I call this the beginner guide. Well, I don't know what the hell I'm going to call this. So I'm going to call that kind of a beginner of every man's guide, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to play this on professional difficulty. Now, why am I playing on professional? Professional is the hardest difficulty in the game. It's, of course, the most difficult dif uh, difficulty ever. And enemies do a lot of damage, all that shit. And this video, like I said, is going to be about bosses. And bosses do deal a lot of damage, and they do are a bit, little bit resistance, a little bit resistance so uh, to stuff. So I'm here to help you out get through every single boss in the entire game, start from the first boss to the last boss. So yeah, without further ado, let's begin. Um, by the way, guys. When I say um, first boss, uh, first to last boss, I lied. The only boss I'm not gonna include on this list is uh, Del Lago. The reason is you don't use your actual weapons in this boss fight, so you don't use actual weapons. You don't use all your guns. You don't see nothing. All you use is harpoon, and you can just stab through people. That's all you gotta do <clears throat> in this boss battle. That's all you gotta do. There's nothing. Too special, there's nothing too crazy, so you're gonna do is just dodge and hit. You know, as, Don as video game Donkey says, dodge and hit. That's it. So now we're gonna get to the actual first boss fight L. E. Gante. We're gonna start up this first boss fight. I'm gonna stuff you guys show what are the weapons I use for this boss fight. So. All you need to guys know the weapons you need to use are the the TMP. You need about three grenades at the very least three grenades, three hand grenades, and two flash grenades and a and a flash grenade. Maybe one or two flash grenades just in case. So right now so I'm, I'm gonna be equipping my hand grenades. So the first thing you need to do is. As soon as the cutscene's over, throw two hand grenades and he'll get stunned right immediately. So he's going to get stunned uh, straight up away. Then we're going to do is jump on top of him. You need about three times to jump on top of him, like three times to actually kill him. Do this QTE. Do the QTE, of course, very important. And then I'm going to swap to my... Uh, I'm going to go back to this house. It's a very good place. I'm going to swap my TMP. And between these two shacks, you'll basically be safe. So as you do an attack, and TMP is the best weapon to use. Shotgun is just for mandatory, it's just thing, if things going wild, if things going like a in different direction. As you can see, he takes like a while, and of course, you'll do it again. So you gotta do is keep your distance and killing him, because he might do a lot of damage. He's not that tough of a boss fight, so he's not too difficult to go through. Now the next thing, the, the, next thing the dog comes in. You gotta save the dog, uh, otherwise you're not even a good of a human being if you don't save the dog. So saving, saving the dog is very important. So... Right now I'm watching the dog cutscene. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is keep on with the TMP. I was used to shotgun, I was thinking about it, but I reloaded. He automatically turns. So yes, as you can see, I was thinking about doing but not. Decided to just kill the TMP all the way. Cause shotgun will work. The best place with the shotgun is his face because he deals a lot it takes it deals tons of damage against him. He and then you know the dog would distract him. That's the dog would dog does mostly distracting him. And there you go. He's gonna go to his final phase and he will die. So all you gotta do keep your distance. Hit two grenades at the beginning. If you try to get close to you or if you're basically having not a lot of ammo, 
Oh, I mean, what? If you're basic on a corner, use flash grenade. They'll stun him, use some shotgun. So that's it. Not really that tough. It's a pretty easy boss fight. Now let's move on to the next boss fight, which is basically the second El Higate fight. So the second El Higate fight takes place in chapter 2-3 after the long uh, cabin fight. So all you need to do is use TMP in this boss fight. The TMP is the only weapon you should use to beat him because uh, it's by far the best strategy to use against him. So what you need to do, trigger the cutscene, skip the cutscene, and wait here. I was thinking about just knifing the bars, but you know, just in case if something bad happens or there's no like space between. So I wait, I actually wait, so I actually got harm's way of course because if she's in the, it will, Within the crosshairs of him, he will kill her instantly. I just got to kill him instantly. So you shoot him, you get stunned. By this point, your TMP is pretty much strong enough. It's very, very powerful. And this is actually a much more easier fight. And keep shooting him immediately as soon as the QT is done. He'll get stunned right away. So keep doing this, and this is by far the best way to beat him. Alternative, you can just run away, pick up the old key, but since it's a boss fight, I have to fight them, so I'm gonna fight. I'm much more of a fighter in this game, so that's what I'm doing. Keep doing it until he's dead. And that's pretty much it. Very easy. Way easier than the last one. So, and actually, I shot him at the end. Just for funny. I don't know why. It's kind of funny. So, that's the end of the boss fight, and I'll see you guys in the next boss fight, which is pretty much the most chal one of the first big challenging boss fight. The Taurus Mendes. So before I continue with the bosses, I need to mention that I'm going to be doing a separate video of two of, I believe, the most difficult sections and could be difficult for people to get their own professional. The first is the Louis Sarah cabin fight against the villagers in 2-2. This could be pretty hard, but I'm going to have, I have like a method uh, to tell you what to do. So... I can tell you some methods you can do against the boss fight. Against the sorry the fight. The second is the chapter three one of the water room, which has like infinite enemy spawns and all that kind of shit. That part could be extremely difficult and probably the part I hate the most. If I mention this in many streams, I hate that part the most. So, but don't worry, I will show you step by step part for this, for that particular level. So I'm going to do both these in a separate video. I'm not going to do this in this video. I'm going to do it as a separate video. But this is just a boss guide video. So, alright. Now we're going to continue with the bosses. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you guys the first challenging boss fight professional. And this boss fight could be a pain in the ass to deal with. So, what you need to do to start this is you need about two incendiary grenades. We're going to use all our, our arsenal weapons, by the way. But the, to beat the first phase, he actually has two phases of the boss fight. This is the first phase. The best thing to do is throw uh, two incendiary grenades. That's my mistake. I was trying, uh, it was my mistake, me using a shotgun. It was a bad idea. Use two incendiary grenades right off the bat, one and then wait, and then one and wait. So I had to wait for a few seconds, and there you go. This is the first phase complete, because the f he has basically like two forms. So this is first form done with two insane grenades. Now for the second form, which is definitely the painful form. So go backwards and use your handgun, TMP, whatever the heck, and wait until he gets there. This is a, a, the part where the, the boss gets difficult. So I have about two flash grenades, as you can see in my inventory. We're going to use the flash grenades. The flash grenades are good for him... Um, getting stunned and him every time you hit a flash grenade, he always gets to the ground. And you can get some few shots off, and we use the stairs to shoot him up. And as soon as he start to get very close, he start to swipe you, and go down. And you're about to see guys a, a bullshit section. Okay, here's uh, me throwing a grenade because I was like didn't pay attention. That was a waste of grenade because hand grenades will deal tons of damage against him as well. Here comes the bull. Okay, here comes the part that I believe was bullshit. In my opinion, you'll see in a few minutes or a few moments. So I'm waiting for him to go through here so I can throw a hand grenade against him. And I succeeded to throw a hand grenade against him. 
He gets down on the floor, and I use the shotgun to rinse him. Shotgun is pretty much your go-to weapon against him, or the TMP. And uh, see if he goes away, look at this, flash grenade, and he goes down on the ground all the time. If he's, if he, even if he's about to attack you, you use the flash grenade to stop his attack, and he'll get on the floor, and you can just shoot at him. Alright, here comes the... Better the screw part, watch this. I'm running away, and boom, I get hit from God knows where. Maybe he turned around the last moment, but I, I saw him swing, but he just swung at me for some reason. That was bullshit right there. I don't know. I might just, like, maybe, like, when we look back at the fucking footage and maybe tell later on, because that was, that was bullshit. All right, so I had to throw another flash grenade to get him on the floor so I can use the uh, shotgun against him. He's pretty challenging, I have to say. Pretty challenging boss fight, but with this method is the best way to defeat him. And of course, I hit him with a few shots with my handgun, and he died with a few shots on my handgun. This head. So yeah, pretty challenging boss it is, but with this, do this method the way I did, and you can get through him no problem. Now for the next boss fight is Vertigo. And Vertigo is extremely easy. All you have to do is use one weapon, and that is the rocket launcher. That's all you need to do to use against this guy. This guy is a pain in the ass. You want to do this in a normal way, normal fashion. I don't do it. Try to do a dim angle so I can just speed through the whole fucking process. But it doesn't. You don't have to do that. I'm just like just showing off the dim angle, and that's pretty much it. So we have this alien predator hybrid looking guy. And in chapter four dash one, so chapter three, there's no boss fights in that in that game in that level. So, yep. So the easy way to beat this boss fight is basically just run, go to hit the, open the switch, hit the shutters. Then I'm gonna do is I run past him to the first liquid nitrogen tank I see. He gets frozen, and then he gets killed with one rocket, and that's it. That's all you gotta do. I have much, nothing much else to say. Very easy boss fight, and he is done. That's it. That's all I gotta do. Nitrogen tank. Boom. And he's dead. Now is the double El Gigante boss fight. Now, what I'm doing here is just the way I need to do, and there's a reason why I'm doing this. So, as soon as you start, so we skip the cutscene, you jump up, you climb up the ladder, you go up to the zip line. Normally you should hit the switch, one of them comes in, you can just dump one in the water and you kill the other one. But what I'm doing is killing both of them. And yeah, I'm killing both. Now I'll tell you guys my reasoning why in a few seconds. What I'm doing here now, next up is of course, hand grenades. Not the other, the first one, hand grenade will stun them. You just look at the money, and this is where you'll use the Magnum. By the way, to find the Magnum in this game, uh, you have to go to a place in Chapter uh, 3-2, I believe. And you have a room that's locked, so you can't get it because it's off the other side. You need Ashley to help you, so you get Ashley back in 4-1, and then you get the Magnum immediately. And as you can see... The Magnum basically deals a lot of damage. I'm doing the same way I did with the, with the um, TMP, the last one. So I kind of shoot him in the face, keep on shooting him, and then two cycles already has been complete. And of course, I'm going to empty out all my Magnum magazine and uh, reloading. The reason I'm doing the why well, I kill both of them is each of them drops uh, 15,000. And you need a lot of money to upgrade your weaponry. And it's very mandatory to do it. And it's very useful. And trust me, you'll get a, you'll def, the more money you have, the better you can upgrade your, your weapon and the easier you can, you can get to. And as you can see, this is the effect of the flash grenade. It's very useful and I'm using the TMP. By this point, it's fully upgraded like crazy. And of course, um, do the final cycle. Alternatively, I can just do is do the, the slide thing and dump one of them and use the rock launcher right that way Or you don't have to buy a rock launcher But I'm a fighter. I like to fight these enemies because I need a lot of money and the more money you get the better So yeah, that's my method of doing it The best method in my opinion is just basically dump one of them in the lava and then kill the other one. That's my method
Now for the next boss fight is Ramon Salazar. Now this boss fight is extremely easy. All you gotta do is equip the TMP, shoot in his eyeballs, because he has like just the eyeball and then his Salazar himself, he can transform. Shoot his eye, shoot a rocket in the cocoon when he opens, and that's it, the boss is over. This boss fight, by normal means, without the rocket as well, could be pain in the ass, because you have to deal with like three or four cycles with the Magnum if you do it the normal way. But this is by far the, the best way. And he dies extremely easy. This is the easiest boss fight, and this is just for this gonna take about a few seconds. <laughs> Seriously, this is a very easy boss battle. Now we gotta go on to the next boss fight. And yeah, I'm just gonna move here. So before we continue with our last, basically the last few bosses, which basically by few mean three bosses, U3, aka It, Krauser and uh, Sadler, two of the bosses, which is U3 and Krauser, are two of the most difficult bosses in the entire game because both these bosses deal a lot of damage and they have a little bit more extra health. So yeah, these two bosses actually have some type of like, uh, before you actually fight them, there you have to go through some obstacles, whatever the hell, with U3 with the the dropping uh, cages, and with Krauser, you have to go around in the battlefield like a, like a cat and mouse. I will not show these type of modes. I'm gonna sh uh, or mom and they, these two like you know parts of the game. I'm only gonna show the actual fight when you have to kill them. Just to, like to let you guys know about these two bosses, and yeah, these two bosses are pretty pain ass to deal with, but I have like a good method. But they're not really that much difficult. The only part that's difficult is like the the part before the fight. And if you know your surroundings, you can literally beat this, these two bosses without any issues. Actually, mostly like the last three bosses, basically the island bosses, the island trio. So, all right, let's move on to the U3 slash IT boss fight. Here we are, now we have it, and I'm going to show this cutscene a little bit here. So this boss fight, there's definitely a easy method to take care of him. You know, there's an easy method, of course, because I've playing this game for many years. So what you're going to do is going to turn around and run. There's an explosive barrel as soon as you get there. Now, if you can see, these, these, there's gates in here. What we're going to do is, is we're going to close the trap. What we're going to definitely do is... I trap ourselves, but close the uh, the trap door or close the gate so you can literally go get some shots on him. Now equip the magnum. By this point, you probably upgrade the magnum to, to the max. By this point, the exclusive upgrade is not available yet, so the magnum is going to be the best thing. And a little bit of tip for you guys: to save a lot of magnum ammo, is to use up all the bullets. And uh, as soon as it hits zero, don't reload. Go to the next merchant, get the capacity upgrade if there is, if there isn't, and the next thing will be exclusive. The exclusive upgrade will exclusive, exclusively upgrade your weapon to the max, and as well it refills your ammo, which is very good. So I use a moment of ammo and I'm going to use the TMP. The TMP and shotgun are two guns that by this point TMP is fully maxed out. Okay, that's his first form. He actually has two forms, I forgot to mention. Uh, his first form. Complete. Now he comes second form. He becomes extremely aggressive, and I'm just pumping shotgun ammo to his face. And as well, using hand grenades will be handy, and flash gr and incendiary grenades are pretty handy because probably probably could pick up one, you know, in the uh, the the drop the the cage section, which is the first section of the boss fight. Um, so now he does is either he does underground, or two he'll start doing multiple slashes you hear you hear like the slashing sound i was running away from him because he wasn't going underground and then i started going underground so dodge basically his underground attacks and if you get hit you'll take a ton of damage since of course i'm playing some professional difficulty and tactical vest is not available in that difficulty let you guys know about it tactical vest is disabled so i'm trying to do here i'm trying i'm um, i'm I came too close to let him in. I was almost got fucked over. I literally said to myself, oh shit, I almost got fucked over. And I used an incendiary grenade. 
to make him go on the ground. And just keep going. The second cycle is extremely easy. All you gotta do is just keep your distance away from him. Use the your strongest weapons you have against him. Close the gate. And that's pretty much it. That's all you gotta do with this boss fight. This is actually the easiest method to do it. Use hand grenades, but I'm not using any because I'm saving it for um, Sadler, which I have a very easy method. Uh, hopefully, um, you know, hopefully I can just show you the easiest method to fight Sadler because Sadler is the easiest boss fight. Most of the bosses in this game are very easy. They're not that difficult because I have like methods of doing it and there's literally like Sadler is extremely easy. It's not that difficult of a final boss. So that's basically the thing is. So of course keep your di we does that, keep your distance because I don't want to get hit and I was. <laughs> Every time he does that I get scared because he is yeah, he's coming towards me and this is of course the second gate. Which I closed it. I'm checking where he's coming. He actually, you know, went on the ground just for, as soon as he uh, did that. I tried to shoot his backside. For enemy design, he looks really scary. For enemy design. And I'm going to use TMP, and that's killing him. Now he's going to be dead in a few shots. There you go, he's dead. So, yep, use the cages for your advantage. Use some grenades, use some power shots, whatever. And yeah, and he is dead. That's pretty much it. Alright, now for the second to last boss of the game, which is Jack Krauser. My two weapons of choice of this one is a fully upgraded maxed out um, Magnum with the knife. So the best trick to do is uh, you have to bait Krauser to do some certain moves. And you have, of course you have to dodge of his moves. And uh, I, I had a bit of a dodging, you know, a bit of dodging challenge. You could, I could have shot him if I was like very bit far enough. I'm trying. I'm waiting for him to do that move right there, and I tried to knife him, and I failed. I got hit. I think what because I thought like the knife might reach him. So yeah, a bit, a bit of scuffle, but it's okay. And ooh, I almost uh, failed the dodge right there. You know, we're almost okay. Then do this, and then you shoot with the magnum, and then you knife him. You shoot him, and then you knife him. I tried to knife his legs. It could work if I was a bit closer. That's another method you can do with it against him. It's basically just go low and shoot his leg, like knife his leg, because his leg is basically his. You'll see how I did it. Because the knife is, throughout the whole cat and mouse thing, the knife is basically your best friend, and he deals a lot of damage in his, like, you know, cat and mouse, like, fight. And he got shot him, and then I started just knifing him until he dies. So basically the knife will deal tons of damage. I'll just keep on knifing him down low and there you go. That's, that's all you gotta do. Keep a distance, show him magnum, knife, and then hopefully you do the same thing until he dies. That's pretty much it. It's pretty simple and easy. Here we go guys. It's time for the final boss of the game, which is Osman Sadler or Sadler. So I hope you guys packed in a lot of hand grenades before this and hopefully you max out your magnum because you're going to need these two essentials the most. Um, so how to deal with him? Well, the first thing I just did there is to use the flaming barrel at the very start to shoot him. I skip the cutscene and then shoot him in the eyeball. Normally, I go in there and there's a prompt that you can do is stab him in the eyeball. But I don't do that, I decided to shoot him, in, shoot him in there for more faster approach. The best way to do is to just go and uh, stab him in the eyeball instead of uh, use the magnum to shoot him in the eye. But if you have a lot of magnum, you can do it. It's pretty good. It'll, it'll speed up the process at the boss fight. It'll speed the process up a little bit. So, of course, use the lever, use the environment to your advantage. If... Uh, at least, before you start the boss fight, I hope you have at least about 6 to 5 hand grenades. There's an extra hand grenade next to the other lever, so what Seth's going to do right now is doing a jump. So, two things would happen. Either he's going to jump to the next screen, or the, right to the next platform, or he's going to throw the beam at you. 
So I was gonna throw the beam at you or it's gonna jump. So I decided to jump. I throw I decide to get a Mr. Fire Fireball to say hi to this man. So we're gonna go in, use the hand now we do the hand grenade trick, hand grenade, him getting stunned, you uh him going down, use the magnum to his eye, rinse and repeat until um Ada drops the, um, the rocket launcher. But I decided to spell alert, I'm about to get hit in a, a few seconds, I'm gonna hit as well. As well as spell alert number two, <laughs> I did not use the rock launcher. Normally you should do it, but don't be like me and just wasting your time with this boss, boss but I decided to just do that because yeah, I'm just uh, I'm good at the game. So here we go, I'm gonna get hit. That's a few seconds and I thought I hit the both the R2 and L2 button together but the game side said nope you haven't got it so oh well so decided to continue my assault against him and he's about to do something I was completely unexpected because I didn't see it coming he's gonna jump at me as soon as I want to go to the other platform you know but I'm, you guys are gonna see that in a few moments so there you go it's gonna now he jumped and he landed on top of me and I started getting hit twice and I was surprisingly alive for some reason. I survived for some reason. It was un unexpected and I did not expect this to happen. But I got survived. I shot his eye. Probably it's like well, one of the only times I shoot his eyeballs. Shoot his eyeballs with a magnum because it deals a lot of damage. You can, use, you can use the shotgun if you have a lot of ammo for it or use the TMP. But... I have a lot of Magnum ammo, so I'm basically loaded with Magnum bolts. Look at that shit. I got about one, two, about four cartridges of Magnum ammo. I had like five when I started, so I got plenty of ammo can kill him. I got even like a, a double the ammo just to make sure. That's how I play the game myself. Is uh, use the all my Magnum ammo with fully upgraded uh, 50, 50 fucking firepower to this fucking man's face. Or his eyeball mostly. Kind of reminds me of a bit of Birkin with the eyeballs and everything. Yeah. Most of the bosses have like fucking eyeballs as weak spots, which is typical Resident Evil stuff. And it's my last grenade. There's not a lot of hand grenades around the area, so I decided to throw the last grenade and shoot his eye. Now I gotta go after that is go to the uh the lever. I was complimenting it to stay and wait till his eyeball coming, but I decided to not do that. So I'm gonna wait and decide to shoot his eyeball. And I missed for some reason. Yep, there you go. So I had to shut his, shut his eye at the right moment. He started to do his charge attack, which uh, can be devastating. He doesn't, t he doesn't do a lot of damage. I don't know. I haven't gotten hit against him that much. But some of his moves c could lead to, like, danger health. Most of it. No, but not all of it. And see, that's, like, the last shot against him. And he's dead. And right there, guys, concludes the game, guys. That concludes the boss guide for Resident Evil 4. I, of course, will upload the uh, the cabin and the other uh, um, the water world, the water, so the water room fight, and I'll show you how to deal with them in a separate video. I'm not gonna do it with this video. I'm gonna do it separately. So, yeah, it's the end of the video. If you guys enjoy, you know, something a little different on my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the guide. And by doing this, congratulations, you're now going to finish the game and you will unlock a weapon. You unlock the Para 412 laser. You get a laser gun when you're beating up professional difficulty. And if you play it on the modern consoles or playing the PS2, PS4 version, this that gun can kill everything with one shot. Literally, it's a one shot weapon. It can kill. It can spread, it, it's, it's a fucking overpowered weapon that's extremely, you can literally beat the game really fast. Uh, I'm doing here is a bit of something funny, so I had to do this. <laughs> I always get a kick out of this when I saw, I saw this on YouTube, and then I was like, oh, so you had to do the English to do this. It was funny when I first, when I first did it, it was one of the funniest things I ever done in this game. And by the way, just a little side fact, to do these like tricks. You need to press the aim and shoot button together. So there you go. So yeah, guys, uh, that's the end of guys of the video. If you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.